Maestro, what yeah. have you been up to? Well, I had some wonderful days with the Swedish Wind Ensemble, my first orchestra. And it was so great to work with these musicians and everyone is so happy to play because they Again. played too little. We did uh, some of Anders Högstedt's fantastic arrangements. Mm. He did the arrangement of, uh, of Rachmaninoff's symphonic dances of uh, Brahms academic overture and uh, we should have him on sometime Anders yeah we should definitely so many arrangements yeah Yeah. and then uh, as usual a lot of practice Mm. and uh, of course they released the Schumann last week that was that was fun we have continuing the competition it's a lot of a lot of interesting things going on there. So, and what about and you? Schumann? Schumann is streaming like hell. Did you see that? No, people I mean... love Schumann. Yes, it's Whoa. streaming oh, like a wonderful vivid river. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, 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 particularly on Apple, I think, isn't it? Apple, uh, in the, yeah, because Apple is you know America, so United States loves European gramophone and Schumann, apparently. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But tonight we are going to one of the most. Yeah, who, who is places. Who, who is this guy? Oh, who, this who is, is he? He is. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, he's one who who ate too much and. Uh, exactly. Sweets. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, my God. But we are doing. We are working with Venezuela. The this El Sistema, this Simon Bolivar Symphony Orchestra of Venezuela, which is some of the most fantastic mm. things you can ever hear and just listen to this cello player opening it wow yeah uh, the, this uh, rossini Giamtel overture listen to mm. this it's amazing should we have a sneak uh, yeah. listen 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 mm. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Incredible musician, the cello player. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Edgar, mm. my dear friend Edgar. Wow. It's absolutely amazing. And, mm. uh, and you know, this is live. Uh, you know, people, this solo mm. is something that, that cello players are very, very. Of course. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And, uh, and we have, of course, uh, three mm-hmm. very important people who are behind this whole organization. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have uh, uh, a solo trumpet player, mm-hmm. Andres, and then we have Ronnie Morales, the really one of the most important guys there, managing the orchestras mm-hmm. and making mm-hmm. all the 
artistic uh, connections he's like uh, because simon bolivar is like uh, trademark it's 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 uh, all, yeah. all over the world it's el sistema it's uh, super famous and, yeah, and, and the, and the so. musicians that they produce is mm. amazing this cello player is is already yeah for internationally fame well no patch of flores comes there from there and of course the conductor mm. after conductor is coming from there it's it's actually mm. wonderful and then uh, of course veronica who mm. is a wonderful uh, maybe we uh, should bring her on what do you think let's bring her on oh. while we play yeah, 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 yeah. do the trombone thing wow. are you sure are we yeah. up for trombones oh up my for the trombone thing let's see can you go lengthy you must go lemme there's something wrong with my uh, iTunes oh veronica veronica Hi. <laughs> Welcome, Veronica. How are you? Thank you, Bear. I'm fine, very fine. Thanks. And you? I'm great. Yeah. Tuesday nights are always the best. Really, really. <laughs> and, are uh, you natural? I'm fine. I was just uh, get so excited when I hear these trombones. I remember that that I pushed them to quite a fast tempo. And listen, yeah. you heard how how accurate they were actually. When I start when I did my recording now of the trombone and piano version, I was thinking, oh my god, I pushed them in <laughs> because it's difficult this. <laughs> but their results are fantastic, yeah. <laughs> like always. <laughs> yeah. Great. So how are things with the with the orchestra? How is everything working there? We're fine, my answer. We are doing a little bit of uh, chamber music because we have the, the, the situation with the COVID in, in our country. But uh, everything seems like we are doing the, the best to try to, to be into this new, new situation because the COVID, because the system is really know it. I mean, around the world because we used to do everything bigger and bigger than everybody. So this is really interesting because it's like going back for looking into the future. So let's yeah, see what's yeah, happened. Yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and is, is the, uh, is the government still supporting as wholeheartedly now? Yeah, because El Sistema is an institution from the state, yeah. and uh, we have um, a lot of people who work with uh, us, not only the state. No, no, okay, great, fantastic. Yeah, you have some sponsors in uh, in Switzerland and also in uh, yeah. yeah, the principal, the, the, the biggest sponsor that we have is Hill Foundation. He, uh, Hitty Foundation is the sponsor from the, the program, the, the, the in Santa Carreño in General Conservatory, who has the, the program who bring you from uh, to Venezuela when you come to do this performance. Yes, and I remember you were all sort of looking at, my God, is this also a tournmeister <laughs> bringing all the all the all the equipment, <laughs> the microphones, and all the microphone stands, and we were every time we had to move them out from the hall. Yeah, <laughs> it, was it was really interesting because we have to go maybe one and a half hour before all the rehearsals, so the maestro Linda can make all the arrangement all on point to all the rehearsals. That uh, it was really different for me because we have the department of audiovisual into our system and they make everything and everybody says veronica maestro doesn't need any help don't worry about it because maestro is all the only one that who knows where it's going to be all the cameras all the microphones and the results 
is talking about obvious excellence because it was really crazy all that week. <laughs> yes, yes. Friends, we have we have uh, actually we have Ronnie here as well. Should we play yeah, a little yeah, yeah, yeah. some music? The maestro, should we play some music for him while he enters? Let's do the beautiful English horn solo. Ah, the English horn. Ronnie! <laughs> Maestro! <Yay>! Very Christian! <laughs> yeah, nice to, to see you. you! It's an honor to be you. Yes, well, it was such a fantastic week. You were you were so so great with uh, with I, I I just love this this organization, this orchestra. Thank you, you Maestro. Like, you are like you're working all the time, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you, Maestro. On behalf of the system and the Simon Bolivar Orchestra, we want to thank you and, and tell you it's an honor to be here today with us. <laughs> Great. How, how are things? Fine, Maestro. Fine. I, I, I try to go in for, for the orchestras and choir. Uh, it's a difficult period, especially because the, the COVID restriction, but I got, got go to to go ahead for, for the for the war and and it's a, an important especially this moment because uh, it's a it's a pro and an honor to be here in, in this festival uh, with the great great war with the with the festival and the <laughs> Rossini overture is a is a bit a bit pleasure. Yeah, it's great. Uh, he was he was such a a, a, a special person, Rossini, wasn't he? And you, yeah, play, yeah. you play the violin, by the way, don't you? Yeah, yeah I yeah. play the violin. And, and, and you know what I, what I was, what I was completely struck by was because yeah. every time, every time I work with an orchestra in in other 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 parts of the world, you have this. <laughs> yeah, and you you usually come for the first rehearsal and. And they are, oh my God. And then, okay, let's do it slowly once and then a little bit faster. And then, and I come here to the first and it's like the whole group is playing it by memory. I like, <laughs> like whistling when they do it. Wow. <laughs> it's, wow. it's unbelievable, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this is Obertura. It's a, it's a uh, uh, una fundamental piece for the orchestra. And it's, yeah. it's a very different period for the, uh, June orchestras and professional orchestras and very very little orchestra um is a, is an important piece for us yeah i mean i mean uh, and you do everything by memory all the young kids are doing things from memory <laughs> playing with orchestra from memory it's unbelievable you're too young you have too good brains let's bring some <laughs> brass players on <laughs> okay. and you andres do you think we we can invite him to the show should we play him a little trumpet piece maybe yes Fantastic. <laughs> wow. Hi, how are you? Yeah, Thank very you for good. The invitation. Very good. Thank you. And and how are you doing? Are you are you doing brass things, brass ensemble things, or now? Well, or? actually, actually, we recently did with one work with the, our Venezuelan brass ensemble, uh -huh. and in the, in now in September we're going to have a concert here in in our hall, in the Simovorita Hall, with the Venezuelan brass ensemble with a new repertoire and old repertoire with Bernstein music or, or, or music for for original ensemble made by Venezuelan composer, Venezuelan music, etc. But for brass ensemble, so we are looking forward for that concert. Yeah, of course. And how, how many people do you get in the audience then? Is it in the in your big hall? Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. 
Uh, well, how many we, we have. Can you we are we are looking for one maybe that hall have uh, 800 seats and maybe we can put there 200 people because the COVID situation but it's fine for us and, and it's, it's, so and it's really it's great so yes, no, yes 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 I'm, I'm doing the swedish chamber orchestra next week we're doing two concerts and we have to with pacho flores pacho is Yay! coming oh, oh. <laughs> yes he's, he's coming and we're recording also with the European, before the European gramophone, we'd be recording my trumpet concerto, the double concerto, and the trombone concerto. So oh, he's, great. he's, he's great. saying hello to you all. So. Sure. <laughs> uh, and, sure. But they, we have only, they are not only allowed 125 people. Ah, okay. In the hall. okay. But it's, it's at all least right. something. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, we have to take care. That's, that's the, now we have that situation. And, but it's, yeah. we are really happy that maybe we can uh, and play uh, for the audience and not only play with our audience and only make recording because it, that, that's nice, but the audience always put a different energy there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of course. So yes. how, how is the, the I mean, the, I know now the the chief conductor is in Liverpool is, is from your, from El Sistema, they, they are everywhere. What about the youngest, uh, yeah, what is going on now? Yeah, it's a beautiful show. I just sorry to interrupt. Uh, it was very interesting. But <laughs> as you were playing the Wilhelm Tell uh, theme, I, I just want to. I bought this very nice trumpet. But uh, can I ask you, brass players? How there's some flaws in the in the bell here. Maybe you can help me how to fix this. I the, the guy who sold it to me. He gave me this tool. <laughs> <laughs> and if I just try to do what he told me, and I can show you the result. Yeah, just a second. <laughs> Here it is. Um, I Christian, think that you know that going to happen on heart attack. <laughs> is, uh, is better, do you think? The result was good. I, I bought many, many trumpets from him, like this one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's really beautiful that trumpet. <laughs> this one that should sound really no nice. I can't really say that, but <laughs> few trumpets. But if you're happy, I will will donate them to the El Sistema project. <laughs> okay. So just Mr. Uh, Jack, thank you very much. Uh, um, yeah, I think we'll uh, catch you later, Mr. Jack. But I got uh, another one. I got many of these. Uh, oh, oh, you have to. Oh, <laughs> and, and one more. Is so I uh -huh. <laughs> Let me know if you need these for yeah. us. Thank you, Jack. We will continue. This is not good for our sponsors and so on. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. I'll send Jack. you the address. Yeah, sorry about that. He, um, He's the guy who, who fixed the heating in our house, in our studio. So he has to be on every every other week. So yeah. uh, anyway, so, where were we? Well, let, let's talk about let's talk about Rossini because this was basically I used 37 years, his last opera, and then he, he, he lived 39 more years and almost didn't compose anything. And also what when he did compose, he was lying on the on in, in his bed with this huge, huge uh, tubby stomach. And, and, and he was laying there and he's throwing and then throwing the things on the floor. And, uh, and his, his servant was, his, his butler was bringing them up and cleaning up the things <laughs> there. <laughs> quite, quite amazing guy. So what, mm. Ronnie, for instance, what is your relationship to, to Rossini. So my, my, my relation with Rossini is that I, I have a nine years old and, and, and listening to the, the, the Rossini cavalgat and tam, ta -tam, ta -tam. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a very impressed for me because it's a, oh, it's a little difficult, but boy, I, boy, I like it very much. I like, I like it very much. And two years uh, after, and play the cavalgat with Rossini with the with the with, yeah with the younger orchestra. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, after every year, I play Rossini with a bass in the orchestra <laughs> for the tours, <laughs> for the many concert, institutional concert, and is a is a big relation. And um, the other uh, a big piece is a 
a opera de Moises in Egypto, eh, de, de last year, with the choir and the orchestra and the big production with Marco Gandini, the La Scala de Milan. It, it's a very big relation with, with Rossini and the, and the work. Of course, of course. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> but why, what, what do you think about these last years? I, I think, who was it that said, he, was it, hello, hello, Frederick. Here is Frederick. Frederick, oh, Frederick. oh, thank you so much. There was this guy coming in again and <laughs> again, you know. But... My, uh, my uh, alter ego, it's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't offend anyone, I believe, this time. Huh? <laughs> One of the trumpet makers. Yeah, that cost me <laughs> exactly. used to buy those trumpets and yeah. just smash them. <laughs> Did you borrow no. them? No, you didn't borrow them. No, I borrowed them from my neighbor. Okay, <laughs> nice guy. Uh, anyway. So yeah. You have to tell these guys about your first uh, El Sistema thing there that you told me. That you were the first in Sweden. Yeah, in Sweden, uh, El Sistema is actually growing rapidly, and th there was there is this school in the north of Sweden that are in the future planning of of um, uh, educating El Sistema teachers. And I was a part of uh, writing that um, what do you say the application for for grants from the government to do this. So I actually know quite a lot about El Sistema, at least in how it works in Sweden. And I know also that in Gothenburg, there is an education uh, where you can take a course in uh, El Sistema pedagogics. And it's very spread on our cultural schools. And uh, so it's very nice to meet you guys from, from the real thing, from the yeah. origins. Yeah. yeah. You know that this is spreading around the world and it's a great thing. So thank you very much for And, and I think, Ron, I think our audience would also, I think you couldn't say uh, uh, about the foundation, uh, the founder of the whole thing. Could you say some things about him? The founder of the organization. Yeah, yeah, my Fabreo. Yeah, it is for us is a, a very important uh, progress because the Maestro Abreus is founded the El Sistema. 46 years ago, and is a long history for many children, many youngers, and many orchestras and choirs. Mm -hmm. And the Sweden um, uh, program in, in, in Sweden with the Gothenburg Symphony and the Gothenburg University is an important relation for us. It's an inspiring of El Sistema, but around the world, in, in more than 60 countries, is very, very programs inspired of El Sistema. And it's a big responsibility for us uh, because it's a model for, for yeah. the entire world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, uh, what, I was, what I was struck with when I conducted the, for, I was, it was the second time I was there working with the orchestra was that uh, there, there is this enormous, uh, Humility with the musicians, they are, they are so, they're a little bit different than in other, other parts of the world, where, whereas they, it's, it's, they work so hard on their parts and they take their role in the, in the music society, so to speak, so seriously. Uh, Andres, how, how old were you when you started in this El Sistema? Andres, I, I, I always, uh, I always <laughs> said, yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I, I always said that yeah. that I start in El Sistema before I was born, because my my dad is one of the founder of El Sistema. He used to play violin on the first mm -hmm. rehearsal with Maestro Reu, and mm -hmm. my mom also. She works at El Sistema since it beginning, and well, my I, I never said, but uh, Maestro Abreu is it was my uncle. So I I before I was born, I I was a member from El Sistema. It was impossible wow. for me not not be a member of El Sistema. So so since I I born, I was as El Sistema member officially. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very it's nice just, to meet you. Nice to hear that, uh, friends. Friends, <laughs> I have some fantastic news. I mean, as a record producer, I must say. 
the most fascinating thing is the quality of the orchestra, the way you are playing and so on, and the quality of the recording. And it's actually out right now. So I posted a link in this uh, commentary field. So it's out on 200 digital platforms right now. Hey. Simon Boulevard hey. plays hey. Rossini with Christian Lindbergh. Bravo! <laughs> it's out there. Please Bravo. stream along. Should we maybe Sing listen to, to something? Uh, the great energy of the orchestra. Yeah, Maestro, do you think we should play something? Yeah, play play towards the end there where we hear, hear all the all the energy. It's amazing. So this is a small excerpt of the recording that was just released. So enjoy. Whoop, sorry. It's so brand new. It's sort of play along. <laughs> Why did you why did you give them that ferocious tempo? What were you thinking of? <laughs> well, I, I thought you were a nice, a, nice, decent guy. I think it was to compensate for the beginning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it sounds absolutely marvelous, like nothing else. Yeah, I mean, wow. So, so much, so Great. much fun to have. Compliment. Yeah. yeah, Frederick, you had some you had some things about Rossini that you were thinking about before. You talked about Wagner's uh, idea. Yeah, Wagner was um, he was actually a fan of Rossini's, but he was also very uh, hard on him, and and he said that uh, he was a great composer, but now he's just eating cookies. And <laughs> he also said that now, when Rossini is dead, who will promote his music? <laughs> So, <laughs> wow, but yeah, uh, so, maybe, maybe, and, maybe. and the fact is that uh, when it comes to operas, uh, the standard repertoire of operas is about 50 pieces, 50 works, and of those 50 pieces, 75 percent are composed by the same composers it's Mozart, Wagner, Verdi, uh, Strauss, and Rossini. So, it's one of the Great five mm. of, of the opera scene. 39 operas, and they're still playing today. It's interesting. <laughs> and and Veronica, you, you started also, what you were originally a musician in the El Sistema. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I I am violist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. You play viola. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, now, and now you're running the whole thing. I saw you, I mean, you work so hard, I remember. And with all the all the administration and so but you enjoy it you love it don't you yeah because if you're going to be being into a system you have to love what you're doing because this is a family this is not only a work this is a family where you are working with the people that you know maybe from i don't know andres i know you maybe like we have five or six years old. This is um, Ronnie, maybe when we have 10 years. I don't know. This is a family and you are yeah. doing the best for your family. This is nothing yeah. else. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely fantastic. And it's so great that you were all here tonight. And we are, yeah, we are running absolutely. out with one minute uh, to go. <laughs> and uh, I hope that soon we, we were already talking about uh, when we should work again before last time. And, and I, I just, I can't wait to come back and work with you again. And uh, let's just wait for the COVID to end and then we'll have some great project. And last time I had, this was made with only eight microphones. Wow. <laughs> and so it was a very hard work with the, with the, edit, with the uh, mixing process. 
to get every voice out with only eight microphones. Next time I'll bring 32. Okay. <laughs> Perfect, maestro. Thank you. just said that, maestro. Yeah. So let's let's just play the ending while we listen to that. Yeah. And, uh, and uh... Bravo! Simon Bolivar, Symphony Orchestra. The album is out tonight. Hey. Don't Wonderful. forget to stream once, twice, maybe three times. Play to your mother and your aunts and so on. And thank you. See thank you again you. next week yeah. with some fantastic new releases and projects. Thank you, Veronica, Andres, Ronnie, Frederick, and Christian. And see you. Thank you very thank much. You. See you. Thank you. See you. Bye. 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 Take care.